For a building that was torn down almost half a century ago, there are still plenty of people in Marquette who seem to be major fans of K Hall. Named after NMU's then-president, James K., K. Hall was built in 1915. Designed by noted local architect D. Fred Charlton, K. Hall was the last major sandstone building constructed in Marquette. Along with Longyear and Peter White Halls, K. Hall was the backbone of the then-Northern Normal School, housing administrative offices, classrooms, and lecture halls. And it also had the K. Hall Atrium. This seems to be the one feature of the building people remember with the most fondness, whether it's because they used to run up and down the marble staircases or because they used to attend choral concerts there during the holidays. During these concerts, the lights would be turned down and the singers would hold up candles while performing, bathing the entire atrium in a soft, festive glow. As Northern grew, becoming the Northern State Teachers College, Northern Michigan College of Education, and then Northern Michigan University, the need for office space grew as well. In the early 1970s, despite public outcry, the decision was made to tear down K Hall, a building then not even 60 years old. It was replaced by the Cohotis Building, a generic 1970s steel and glass structure that admittedly did offer more office space, if with a lot less personality. That building has been serving NMU ever since. Despite the passing of time, though, I do have the feeling that if city residents had the choice of bringing back one classic Marquette building, that one building would probably be K Hall. <laughs>